Hello, welcome to Kentish Kicks. Got the marine tank, reef tank, and um, lots has changed with this. Absolutely lots and lots and lots and lots. This is the Fluval M90. I call it super modified. Um, and there it is. So we're about Hello, summer, my darling. Yes. High five. High five. High five. High five. It's a good girl. Beautiful, aren't you? Yes. This is summer, my Westie. Anyway, um, so what's changed? I'm going to try and um, make this not too long because I wanted to cut it into a few other bits. So, well, actually, it'll probably end up just being a marine one by the time I've done rambling. So, I'm dosing Kalkwasa now. Dosing Kalk, about two teaspoons a gallon at the minute because I noticed that um, a smaller amount wasn't um, doing it. Uh, I started manually adding uh, calcium and magnesium, and I'm trying to get my levels up. Um, so the old combination over the last week, what I've noticed is actually pH went up, but it's steadied out now at about 8.12, it did go up to 8.4. Um, DKH I'm about 9, magnesium about 12.60, so I might put some more magnesium in, and calcium it's 460 so now I'm where I want to be roughly and I want to try and maintain that level um, and what I've noticed is alkalinity went up as well and that started to drop and level out so obviously it's the um, composition and everything that's kind of with me adding um, the magnesium and calc and alkalinity that it, it just adjusts everything it has to find its own balance so hopefully now I'm near the levels it's gonna balance out and be consistent and that's what we want because my calc and magnesium was too low um, I thought so hopefully the calc wasser will do its business and it's the solutions in there look with the RO gravity top off um, what else has changed? Let me put the light on. I've moved this around, I've taken this section out now, I've opened it all up, moved the skimmer. Um, the phosphate's got a little bit higher, so I've replaced the Fosgard. So I've turned it up a little bit just to get my phosphates dropping again. Um, I've got a light there. And I've put a big clump of Cheeto in there yesterday from the LFS I got. So I've got a big clump of Cheeto in there, look. And a mangrove. Um, loads of media in some baskets. In the last. The glass needs a clean. Um, so, um pump still in there doing well so not a lot's changing there really apart from I've tried the divider I find it a bit restrictive um, so I've kind of got a wall there now anyway of um, with the skimmer being moved because that was crammed in as well so I'm dosing calc monitoring them daily I've got the Senai now I've got a Senai in the back there look there which is monitoring ammonia pH and that I've noticed the pH is coming up higher with the Senai for some reason, don't know why. Um, but I've basically bought it with a light meter. Now, in terms of light, what I've done, this was on brackets, if you look at my old existing videos, and this came with the tank, and it was made by the guy I got it off. So every single LED in here is made himself, and it's wired up to a controller. Now, when I tested the PAR, it seemed quite low. I was struggling, um, to my surprise, even on its maximum, on its mid midday cycle, um, I was probably only getting 50 PAR along here, 80, 90 here. 
100 here and I thought cracking that's low so anyway my fluval evo was shadow let me go for this angle get me out of the pit of the frame my fluval evo which had the prime on it I had plans to bring it down here so I have so I've put the stock light back on the evo I've transferred a lot of coral you'll see a lot of coral in here now so that tank upstairs is not looking it's looking an absolute shadow of what it used to do. It was a peach of a tank. Well, I'm going to use it to get it in between now, I think. You know, a bit of a QT. I've still got snails and crabs in there. I'm going to get them out and put them in here. But um bought the light down, set it up. And I've set it up on this edge. Got a glass top. We've got to sort of some of that out with that. But the glass top's working quite well. Although, I'm fuming. Because even though the gaps are relatively small... Look at that I've lost one goby jumped out and my flasher wrasse jumped out the other day how I fucking don't know it was on the floor here but um, so the light has been imported and I put it on this end so because what I want is SPS dominant here so I want SPS top column, all nice. Can you imagine that field with loads of sticks, acros and whatever. Just the world well, already there, look, I bought some. Something else here, maybe another one at the back here. I've got a Satoza there, a little bit of Satoza there that snapped off there. I keep moving the buggers around and drop, you know, keep breaking. Um, a Montipora Rainbow Monty is on there, not doing great, but I got a little piece off it and put it on this little frag plug there, look. Um, can you see that? Oops. No, that's gonna be a funny. But it's, it's there, look, I'll get the magnifier out after. And what I noticed, even with the prime, I was getting probably 100, 150, with the height that I had it on, full height. I've lowered the height right down to about 7 inch and I'm getting about 250 now, 2250 par here. So that's what I'm aiming for, that's, put, that's the maximum I can get out of it at the minute at that height. With the light schedules, you know, how people get in high levels, I don't know, but anyway, that's what I'm getting, 250, 2250 on average, so I'm leaving it at that, that's the maximum I can get. I've got some shrooms down here. I've got the GSP from upstairs, chopped it in half, a piece there and a piece there that I want coming up these flanks. Be nice. I've got a piece of GSP doing well on the back there, look. An acro there that I got. It's not no polyps yet, it's not. Um, it's, the tank is actually bluer than what it's shown at the minute. Slightly bluer, but it is on its white part of the cycle now for the day. So, all these have come from a tank upstairs. These are new additions. Montipora, is it her Sutia or Sutia, something like that. Acropora, it looks bluer on, in real life. I got that the other day from the LFS and it's a, um, I think Stylopora and Stagorn, which is £15 that was for both on one frag so I snapped that up because I thought I'd just fill that space and it's stunning the green pollocks um, I bought my Zoa Zoa um, garden down from upstairs Cyphastria like I say mo uh, shrooms, mushrooms on here everything's just started to wake up so, candy cane in the middle there. Duncan, feather duster I've bought down. Uh, me, uh, these I've bought down from the tank. I bought that as two heads. Look at it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's about ten heads there now. And I've put them on that front and they're pointing forward. So they'll be overhanging here. I'm going to have some stuff like fungia plates and some blastos, that type of stuff on this, filling all this space. I would love. Um, a blue clam, you know what it's like, and that's that in a nutshell. Um, 
there's probably a lot more that's changed. Yep, yeah, I'm dosing, or well not dosing, but adding bio, quantum, bio enhance every day. Feeding that. And let's just end that run down and with this, see if I can get some better shots for you. That fish, that angel fish, favorite. Absolutely gorgeous, settled in so well. In here, under that rock, I bought a goby and a bullseye shrimp that I've not seen the goby since. Sulfur goby, I can't find it on the sides anywhere, so I don't know if it's jumped out. I've had that lifted that rock up, that rock up, and the bullseye's in there. Look, see, it's about burrow, we're pulling all the rock. Um, so that's in there, but I can't bloody find the shrimp, um, sorry, the sulfur goby. So that's three fish I think I've lost now in that type of fish. Um, let me see if I can see that, see that. See it, just, just see it's just, just vanished back in, look. So, yep, yeah, so that shrimp is definitely in there. Um, but let me take my filter off. Feels better, don't it, without the bloody filter? Um, let me see if I can get some closer up, sh closer shots. Can I get closer? Oops, sorry. So the tank has been set up, I think, three months now. And that, what is it? Absolutely beautiful. That's my favourite fish. It's on the go all day. That's a bit of glue there. I'm glue gluing that, um, that Montipora. I've got a red Montipora there. Look, glued to the end of that rock. It was on that wall there. But it dropped off, so I thought, right, put it on this back end of this rock and get it grown up against this back hopefully see how it goes torch doing great everything's waking up but that I absolutely love that fish look at it absolute works all day picking away so I'm going to got a snail and a emerald crab to put in here so 13 minutes, wow, don't time fly. So this isn't going to be on the vlog vlog series, this is going to be a marine update. Um, so yeah, not a lot to add, it's doing absolutely great. Temperature is steady eddy. pH is getting nice and steady. So that's that's the word, steady. I've got both these lights now. That is a backup, and this is a front edge look. I put this on the front. I put that light um, on the leading edge. See this light on the leading edge, right at the front bolt. So the front, this part here, has got the original light that I had on, and now this back, you can see the prime where the prime is lighting up look this half or most of this part here so uh, 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 the worst case is I'm going to take this out get rid of this and then might maybe have another light here I don't know but I'm happy with that at the moment so that's an update on the marine tank let's see if this works again it works brilliant in um, person this polyps there are going let's 
let's have a quick sweep through if you know what we can see. Look at that. Wow. I love getting this little gadget out. Back at the tub. Put it off um, to internet as you do. Yeah. Red starfish. So you can use it to put things in or you can float it on the top and look down for a top down view. And I just put it again, hold it against the glass with my finger and I just sit here some nights just looking. Just looking in all. And you can see things covering and starting to grow. Cyphastria. Try and see that Monty. I try and look at that Monty ever so often. If you look, if you look at it like this, it looks like it's dead. But if you look at it with a microscope, you can see it's a little bit. It's not out yet, really. It becomes a little bit 3D-like. So the around the top and the edges look. It just comes alive a little bit. You can see it. Here's my little scooter, Lenny. If I can get hold of it. The red scooter. There. Doing well. I like um, the dragonette, mandarin, and that shrimp in there. Like I say, bullseye shrimp's not been out yet. So if you've enjoyed that update, that's the marine fluval. M90 um, I'm giving up gobies and that now I think because I just keep losing them, keep jumping, doing nothing thanks for watching 17 minutes, wow that's amazing me please hit the subscribe button I'm going to do um, the vlog soon. I wanted. To, I might even put a part of this in there. I don't know yet, but it's been a bit of a ramble. But it gives you a good idea of um, what's going off in here. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.